Welcome back guys, this is a new episode of the WordPress Tutorials for Beginners. In this video I am going to show you how to start the local web server uh, that comes with WordPress. Uh, you can use the WP server to launch the PHP built-in web server uh, for a specific WordPress installation. By default the web server will start using the local host as a host and the default port which is 8080, but you can change them, I'll show you how. Uh, in a minute. Uh, so the first thing, the first command that I'm going to run is WP server and that will start the web server so it will listen on port 8080 on localhost so if I right click on this link I should be able to see my website opening on the side of the screen and yes so we have our uh, WordPress website. After you install the WordPress um, software, you will be able to run it uh, using this command. If you don't know how to install WordPress and how to download it, watch the previous episode. From the first to the fourth, we covered just this uh, part of the topic. So um, that's how you start it. So now the website is fully available. You can open up the post and you see the uh, web servers update. He updates. So you see the requests that sends and the pages that they open. And now let's see um, how to exit for the web, from the web server. So we type Control C in Windows and that. Uh, web server will stop. If we refresh the page, you will see that we get an error because the web server is no longer listening to this address and port. So that's how you start it and stop it. Uh, if you want, uh, you can change the default port. So now it, it was running on the port 8080, but if you have something else running on the port, uh, so you can use the flag uh, port and equal sign and after the equal sign you specify port like 999 and you um, press enter and then you visit this new link that the terminal shows you and sure enough you will be able to see again the website this time it's on localhost on port 999 if you have a different um, IP address where you want to serve instead of the localhost. Like for example, in my case, I'm using Docker, so I have another IP address that I can use. Uh, if I type if config, that should show me uh, which one on the ATH0 I can use this IP address and uh, and serve the website on this um, IP address. So if I type WP serve and server and then I use host, the host flag and I type the IP address and then again the port if we want and the port 9898 for instance and we run this code and you would see that this web server is listening on port 172, uh, 22, 176.1 on port 9080, 90, 90, if we press this link and sure enough we will be able to see the website. So that's how you um, change the default settings um, that comes with the WordPress command line uh, default. Um, so this command, as you saw, starts the web server at this port, as this host's uh, IP address and this port. Uh, that's it for this video. In the next one, I'll show you how to create a custom plugin. I'll see you there. Bye.